All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time we've all been waiting for. This is the first ever knockout tournament that is happening on this channel. And for those of us that are just tuning in, let me just break down how this is going to work. We have these fine 10 racers right here that are all competing to be the last man standing. We have a series of seven races. In this first race, two racers will be eliminated. The ninth and 10th place finishers will be eliminated, and then we'll move on to the next track. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready, please ready up. Let's get this show on the road. It's time to enter a whole nother dimension. Here we go, first race. Ninth and 10th will be eliminated. That's right on board. Silent Killer currently sitting at the end. We have D shots. Silent Killer sitting near the end. And this is all that really matters in this race is staying out of the final two spots. D shots, big pass on Silent Killer. We have Tony just sitting up there a little ways ahead. Do we have a couple people die? No, no. No, they're just bumping into each other. D shots and Silent Killer need to catch up. It's not the right direction. Let's ride on board. See if we can find. Blake absolutely cracked this track, and he's showing why. Holy smokes. He's got a good lead. Let's see if we can go find D shots. Currently sitting in ninth. Let's take a little peek, see behind him. But really, it's Tony that we gotta be worried about. Where's our boy Tony? This is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. There's Tony. Tony Danks sitting pretty comfortably. T shots is pr has a pretty ways back there. Let's see, coming on lap three. It doesn't look like he's currently sitting in a great spot. Great spot. Eighth. Nothing wrong with finishing eighth on this first track. I'd imagine Blake has taken it, and Tony is going to come across the line without much of a problem. D shots and Silent Killer finishing ninth and tenth, 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 and Blake putting in a solid 146, 68. D shots and Silent Killer have been eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, the second map is Pedal Jumper Two again. The bottom two will be eliminated. Let's see, Pedal Jumper 2. Let's try to find the Young D and Neutral at the back of the pack. This could be problematic. Two of the favorites, I would say, to win this tournament, currently sitting at the back. They made some good time up there, but they can't really get off each other. They're absolutely magnetized to each other. Maybe the mag flip has gotten them to a whole new level of magnetization. JSMR, JSM, and Noah currently sitting near the rear of the field. Let's ride on board JSM. He is in the hot seat. He needs to make up some ground on Noah, and he does. The young D has died. He did perish. He may be sitting back of the pack. We need to ride on board. He is the favorite to win this tournament. He's going to need to actually have an insane lap three if he wants to make some headway. He's come up to seventh, but he still needs to reel it in at the end of this lap. Currently sitting in eighth. Neutro also sitting back there. These two both need to get on their horse and find some positions. Tony, come on, man. Let's get it going. Young D and Neutro can just cannot get off each other. This is gonna be a very, very close finish, folks. JSM, Neutro, Tony. Somebody else is back there. I don't know who it is. Noah and Tony and JSM need to pull something out of the bag here at the end of the section. Noah feeling the pressure in eight. Is someone going to come over his head? JSM with a huge pass. Noah, Tony. Woo, with a photo finish. Holy smokes. The young D and Neutro managed to make it through. Holy smokes, that was tight. That was very, very tight. Noah and Tony, GG's. 
you have been eliminated. Lars taking in the big win, 156-14. Very solid time. And now six remain. We're only the final racer will be eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into round three at Tilted Towers. The racers are readying up now and joining the lobby. Blake is off to a very, very good start. Fully in command. Let's take a look. Pixie behind him. He is off to a huge start. Let's find the man in trouble. The young D pulling up the end, pulling up the rear, the end, the end of the train, the rear, but it's a long ways to go. Absolutely phasing through the hazards. Don't even worry about the hazards. They're not real. A great trait, tree skip, JSM, currently sitting near the end. This looks like this is gonna be a close, close battle for fifth. Young D with the strats, he's been practicing, taking his tips from Chiku. Let's go ahead and ride on board neutral, currently sitting in fifth position. He's not got any boost, but he needs to get attached to the wall here and have a great section. If he has a nice second lap here, he might be able to, say, may, might be able to pull himself right out of the danger zone, but he's gonna need something huge in order to get through here. He's opting for the more risky route. Oh my goodness, someone did die. The young D taking a horrible spill there. He is gonna have to make up some progress now. Neutro has a sigh of relief. The young D's PS2 is gonna absolutely need to start cooking on this last sector of this lap and lap number three. Let's go and see if we can find the young D. Here he is. He's not too far back. And he has been grinding. I like that play. Right on by JSM. But JSM's going to have the boost down this last section here. Is JSM going to come over their heads right here? Let's take a little peek. See back. He's right on their tail. He is right on their tail, currently ahead. This is going to be a battle between the YNG. He needs to hang on to this, doing a little bit of rail grind, finding out a little bit of style points there. I do like that. We're all about style points here. He's put himself in a good position, but he is taking the safe route as is JSM. Lars went a little risky, but it looks like he's not Lars, sorry, Neutro has taken a little bit of a risky route here, but he seems like he's in a pretty good position. It looks like it's going to be JSM and the young D coming down to the wire. And Zombie has fallen back a little bit. Where is he? Did he die? Let's go right along. He needs to make something happen. He is right on their tail. He's got the Lambo, so he's got the aggressive noise on his side. He needs to spook them into making a mistake here. is going to have three boosts if he can get a nice drift going on here. Is that going to be enough to come in over somebody's head? Does he get it? He doesn't quite get it. He's going to need to really hope that and pray that this happens for him right here. He, he does get it. He does get it. Coming down to the line, JSM. Looks like JSM might have taken a tumble and Zombies makes it through by the skin of his teeth and Blake with another big, big win. The amount of passion that Blake has been putting into this game has been really paying off. JSM, unfortunately, you are eliminated. They're all in game. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go into the action right now. Sidewinder, if there is a cut, that is an immediate disqualification, but I don't expect that from anybody here. Um, we only have four, five remain. Four will remain after this session and they'll be deemed the top four of this knockout young d off to a very 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 strong start looking to make up for his lack of performance in those first few races let's go right on board the trail car lake has had a very very strong performance so far today absolutely dominated anaconda dominated 
tilted towers, but he's going to need to make up for it right here. He may have had something happen to him at the beginning of this race, but he does have the skill to catch up. They're not that far ahead. He can see them, and he needs to start stiffing them out. That is a beautiful, beautiful drift through there. Lias, welcome in, welcome in. I appreciate the membership, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blake had a very, very nice last sector of that map, that map, of that lap. We have an epic battle now between Young D, Zombies, and Blake to stay out of the elimination zone. Come on, Lars! Says chat. Let's go on board. Zombies and Young D. Looks like it's going to be a very, very close fight. Ooh, that is not good from Young D. He's going to need to make up some ground here. Put this sucker back on there. The pressure may possibly be getting to the Young D here. Can't be so sure, but he is still within striking distance of Zombies. And Blake is not that comfortable right now, but he did have a very, very clean sector in lap one and he's going to look to replicate replicate that throughout this section here young d is a little bit low on boost for my liking where's blake let's see if we can get on board blake blake and young d are sitting about the same boost the young d may be sitting with a little more a little bit of an advantage blake did just absolutely slam through that super hot fire like it wasn't even there he does not even care Zombies and Blake battling it out for that final spot to get through and to stay out of the elimination zone to carry it through in this competition. The young D's gonna have to make something happen here. Now Zombies is gonna have to make something happen. Blake is also in trouble. This is gonna come down right to the end. Let's take a little breather here. Blake had a very excellent section through there. Oh my goodness, what has happened to Lars? This is going to come down to the end. Let's see if we can get on board with zombies. He has a boost in hand. Is he going to be able to catch up to the young D? Ooh, close. But not quite there. Not quite there. Lars, we had a scare there. I don't know what happened to you. But Neutro GG's with that 308 dominating that lobby. Zombies, unfortunately, you have been eliminated. Congratulations, Lars, Neutro, Young, and Blake. You have made it through to the top four and should be very, very proud of yourselves. We are now moving on to Anarchy Arches 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we're heading into the fifth round of the competition. Again, the top three of this race will move on. The players are in. The lights are going red, green. The race has begun. Looks like Lars and Neutra are off to a great start. Young D hot on their heels. And Blake are all still in contention. Very, very close. Let's see what they all have. Neutro, not very confident in this one. But hopefully he can turn that into some success and really bottle that energy into something, some sort of clutch factor. The Young D, once again, has fallen a little bit to the back. But he's shown all throughout this tournament that he is, does have the possibility of regaining and coming back. He has been saving his boost quite well. He's gonna have to use one here. The super hot fire has absolutely eaten, his al eaten him alive. I would like to see a boost usage here. He is going to use it. He's going to come over the top of Neutro. Land right next to him. Lots of... Ooh, he got an unfortunate bump there from Neutro. Neutro getting his elbows out. Absolutely slapping this PS2 user around. I don't mind that. But he doesn't have a flip here to work with. Lars sitting in that ever important third position. Young D has some work to do, and Lars is going to have to be able to hold him off here. 
Let's see what he has. He's doing some absolutely crazy maneuvers, but he's got a pretty clean section through on this lap. He can see Lars and the rest of the pack in sight. It is actually very close. Something has happened to Blake. Blake looks like he may have perished along the way, and he now is in the danger zone. He was sitting comfortably out in front, but this lap three, he's going to need to absolutely clutch up here. I like that out of him. The young D and Neutro are currently... Huge play from Neutro there, using his boost. Blake looks like he's in a pretty good position here. Just gone past the young D, past Lars. And now we will ride on board. The young D goes over their heads. Lars is currently sitting at the back of the pack. He's going to need to make something happen here in that last stretch of this lap. What's his boost usage? He has three boosts. Blake, Neutro is sitting way out in front. The young D is only sitting with one. So Lars does have, the, does have the boost advantage over the young D, and Blake may also have that advantage. Blake has a huge advantage. Both these racers in third and, set, third and fourth have the boost advantage over the young D. He's currently sitting on empty. He's going to need to make a miracle happen to stay out of this elimination zone. And there goes both Lars and Blake right over his head. The boost management kind of ate him alive there. Still only finished half a second behind. It looks like Blake may have absolutely destroyed the fire. But congratulations, Neutro, Lars, and Blake. You have made it through to the next round. Blake has been absolutely cooking so far, putting in a very strong performance. The players are ready. They're loading in to Cliff Runner 2 in this elimination match. They're trying to stay out of third. The top two move on. Let's jump right into the action. The lights are red. They've gone green and the racers are off. Let's ride on board. Neutro currently sitting at the back of the pack. Lars looks like he's got away very, very cleanly. He is way out in front. He just needs to, I think he just needs to avoid some mistakes here. He's got this locked in. Neutro and Blake going head to head. This is the first lap. Neutro throwing in some very, very nice style points there. I don't mind this from Neutro at the beginning of this race. He's not in a bad spot here. He is going to have to start cooking, though, if he wants to make something happen. It's a long race. Get a nice section through there. Very nicely done. Great boost. Him and Blake finish that lap absolutely neck and neck. Blake is sweating out of his mind. Neutro and Blake are head to head. Lars just needs to stay out of trouble here. He's hit a fire and he's fallen a little bit behind. He is now in the danger zone with Blake nipping at his heels. Neutro saving up his boost very well here. His boost management has been good. Blake goes ahead, takes the lead. I'm not sure what the appropriate strategy is here. Do you want to just be out in front as early as possible? And just pray that nobody catches up? Or would you rather be in second, able to react what the player in third is do doing? They will be able to get an interview with the racing racers afterwards to see exactly what their mindset was in this race. We currently have Neutro and Blake sitting in those positions to get through to the finals. Neutro is sitting on almost three boosts. Blake is down one, and Lars is going to need to make something happen here. He also has three boosts. An interesting route there. I think he was trying to get some fire style points in there. Neutro and Lars are going to be neck and neck going through this section. And it's going to be a very, very close section. I can feel it. He needs to get a boost in here. A nice little drift. They both have two boosts. Blake is sitting at two boosts. They're all on even footing. Let's ride along. Let's, let's ride along with Lars. He just passed him. He has this boost. He doesn't have a boost. He uses boost too early. Neutro and Blake advance to the grand finals. Lars, unfortunately has been eliminated. A very, very close finish within 
half a second, well, not quite, but pretty close, pretty close, a 243.70 to a 244.47, seven tenths separate first and third. GG's, congratulations, Blake and Neutro, you are in the, tourna the tournament finale. The nerves are creeping in to Blake and Neutro. When Neutro hits that ready button, that will lock these racers in to the final race of the tournament. Neutro versus Blake, Airborne 2 to decide the winner. Neutro and Blake both starting out very, very well. Neck and neck through the first sector. Through the sector, second sector of the lap, Neutro looks like he has a little bit of an advantage. Blake absolutely trying to grind on there. I don't mind it at all. Neutro taking the very safe approach by going to the right of the tunnel. I don't mind that one bit. He does hit that. Blake misses it. Lots of lap, lots of race left in this one. Neutro looks like he may have been practicing this one a little bit. Blake is needing to get, he's gonna need to get on his horse. It's not what we wanna see. It's not what we wanna see. He's gonna have to make something happen. Let's ride along board Neutro, see if his nerves are getting the best of him here. He's at a clean section through there. Clean through there as well. As long as he doesn't do anything too crazy. Let's take a look back to see where Blake is. Blake is about a second behind and he's gonna need to make something happen here. Neutro's sitting on three boosts. Blake also sitting on three. Let's see if Blake can make the ultimate comeback here. Ooh, the super hot fires are absolutely decimating Blake in this one. He's gonna need to make something happen. He wants to have any chance of catching Neutro. He's probably gonna need to just hit, the bo his, hit his boost. Needed his boost through there to gain absolutely. The boosts are on. Where's Neutro? Neutro takes it, crosses the line. And Neutro is the first knockout champion of the Zed community. Congratulations, Neutro. Congratulations, Blake, on both an absolutely stellar performance.